expand and simplify the following expressions. Okay, so the first question is x times 3x minus 4 plus 2x times x plus 1. So let's expand using um, foiling method or whichever method you understand. So this is x times x times 3x, which is 3x squared, then x times negative 4. So this is minus 4x. 2 times x is plus 2x squared, and 2x times 1 is plus 2x. Now, this is simple expansion by foiling. The next step is e very important, which students uh, tend to ig ignore and end up with the wrong answers. So the next step is grouping. Okay, so we're going to group. This step I'll write like this. This step I'll call this grouping the like terms. So I'll write 3x squared. So 3x squared and 2x squared are like terms. So I'll group them together. And this minus 4x and 2x are like terms. So this is minus 4x plus 2x. So this is grouping and then you simplify this too. So this is 3 lots of x squared plus 2 lots of x squared. It is 5x squared plus, uh, this is minus 4x plus 2x, which is minus 2x. So I'll simplify this a little. So what can you factor out? You can factor out an x. So the final answer is 5x minus 2. Now, how did I get this minus 2? How can we check, check this? Uh, so let me do one more step to explain this. Okay, so this is, this I'm going to write this as 5x times x minus 2 times x. Okay, this uh, for year 12 students, this should not be difficult. So if you factor out x, you have 5x minus 2 as the answer. So this is the most simplified form. Okay, next question x times x plus 1 minus 2x times this. So I'm going to do it a bit faster now. So let less of explanations. I hope you can understand my steps. Minus 4x squared. You can pause the video if you don't understand what I'm doing. Plus 2x plus 3 times 3 is not 6, which is 9x minus 3x squared. Okay, you can pause me if you want. So, and I'm going to group. So this is x squared minus 4x squared minus 3x squared. So I'll underline the like term. So this is x squared minus 4x squared minus 3x squared. Okay, so this is x you got plus 2x plus 9x. So let me write the x's together. So this is plus x plus 2x plus 9x. Okay, so this is uh, this is minus 3x squared minus 3x squared, which is minus 6x squared. And this is 4x uh, 4 plus 3, 4 plus 9 is uh, 11 12, am I right? Yeah, 3 plus 9 is 12, so this is 12x. Okay, now what can we factor out? This is a bit tricky. So this is, I'm going to write this as minus 6x times, uh, minus 6x six times x is minus 6x six squared plus 6x. Okay, I'll write, I'll change this slightly, so I will I'll keep, uh, hmm, how can I write this? So this is x, okay, let me write this like this. This is 12x minus 6x squared. I think this will, is better to write the positive first. So this is, this is 6x times 2 minus 6x times x. You can factor out the 6x. So if you factor out the 6x, 
you will have 2 from here and minus x from here. So this is your answer. 6x times 2 minus x is your final answer. Okay. The next question is 5x plus 1 squared minus 5x minus 1 squared. So let me change color. So this is, I'll write this like this. This is 5x plus 1 times 5x plus 1. Take away 5x minus 1 times 5x minus 1. So now foiling this out, 5x times 5x is 25x squared. I put this whole thing in a bracket. Now then you've got a 5x plus 5x which is 10x plus 1 and now expanding this out 5x times 5x is 25x squared 25x squared so you have to be careful here you got a minus here so this is minus 5x minus 5x which is minus 10x and negative 1 times negative 1 minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1 so now the next step is again very crucial your minus is here so this is 25x squared plus 10x plus 1 and as the minus is outside the bracket the signs will change so this is minus 25x squared this minus 10x will become plus 10x and plus 2 plus 1 will become minus 1 so let us group the like terms so this is 25x squared minus 25x squared I hope you can see this this is plus 10x plus 10x and plus 1 minus 1 so now you can neatly cancel these two and also cancel these two so your most simplified form is 10x plus 10x which is 20x you should not be writing 20x squared you've got 10 lots of x plus 10 lots of x which is 20x squared okay now finally the last question it is expanding three brackets so this is so write this is x plus 8 times 5 minus x times 5 minus x okay so I'm going to expand this two okay first two brackets at a time so let me use a lighter color so this is uh, be careful x times 5 is 5x x times negative x is minus x squared let me put this in the bracket now with 8 8 times 5 is 40 and 8 times negative x is negative 8x times uh, I'll write this as minus x plus 5 okay so this will simplify to first I'll write this minus x squared this is plus 5x take away 8x is negative 3x you should not do mistakes in signs so plus 40 times so this is in a particular order so now expanding minus x so let me do this like this so this is minus x squared times minus x plus 5 minus 3x times minus x plus 5 it's good to write like this because students when they expand this with this they commit such a lot of mistake so it's safe to write a distributing each of this with this bracket so what I did is I have expanded minus x squared with this whole bracket minus 3x with this whole bracket then 40 with this my whole bracket so you can treat take one bracket at a time so this is minus x times minus x squared times minus x is plus x cube because negative times negative is positive this is minus times plus is minus 5x squared first sign multiply the signs negative and negative is positive and 3x times x is 3x squared negative times positive is negative 15x 
positive times negative is negative 40x and positive times positive is positive which is uh, 200 sorry 40 times 5 is 200 now we need to simplify the simplify group this so this is one group this is the other group so your final answer is x cube this is minus 2x squared uh, minus this is 55x plus 200 now i'll show you one neat way of checking your answer on a graphic calculator it's a bit cunning but it's always good to check your answer so this is the expansion of this so let me write what's the question the question was this is the expanded expanded form of x plus 8 times 5 minus x the whole squared so you go to your run menu you go to your run menu sorry your table menu and type in this your question in y1 so my question was x plus 8 times 5 minus x squared okay in y2 i'm going to type in the answer okay which is x cube minus 2x squared okay so which is x cube minus 2x squared minus 55x plus 200 okay so this is a way of checking whether your expansion is right i'll set from one to five that's fine and go to table okay so my expansion is wrong okay so this is so can you see the these two have to be the same so let me see, check whether i entered the right five minus x the whole squared yeah so let me check so uh y1 yeah and uh, yeah yeah this i got it so this is delete this was my mistake it's x cube minus 2 x squared i, I put minus 55 x plus 200 if you don't enter properly also you'll get error so this is set and see what happens and go to table yeah can you see both the values in y1 and y2 should be the same if they are the same you are right okay so the expansion is perfectly right